In this chapter, Hero has to deliver something to Mrs. Ron. She isn't happy about it. Hero is worried that the first day of school won't be good for her. Hero's sister Beatrice isn't worried about school at all. Hero also talks about her dad and how he is different from other dads. Hero walks over to Mrs. Ross's cottage to drop off her shears. Mrs. Ross comes to think Hero comes to think just as Hero is leaving and tells Hero to take some flowers with her. Hero does, and when she leaves, Mrs. Ross just briefly tells her about the diamond necklace that used to be in her house. Mrs. Ross said to come back tomorrow to hear the whole story. Hero says she will. Hero and Beatrice went to school. There was a kid, Aaron. His dad. His dad bought him a, a hat at a sporting event. He wears it all the time on the bus. They went to, they went to class. Hero got called a dog. <laughs> they roared with laughter. Hero felt embarrassed and people wouldn't stop teasing her. That, the next morning, Hero felt nauseous. Hero is excited to go to the... To he go hear the jewelry that is lost in her house and see, and she helps Miss Roth with the crossword puzzle. When Hero got home, her mom asked her how the day went. She lied and said it went fine. Same with her dad. Then Hero asked her dad about Shakespeare and how Murphy, how Mr. Murphy was a lover of Shakespeare like he was. He said that Edward de Vere might have been the actual Shakespeare, but went by Shakespeare for some odd reason. Beatrice then asks what really happened at school. Hero told her. Beatrice said that she could sleep in her room that night. Hero got to her classroom early and decided that she would try to be as quiet as possible. At the end of the day, she got off the bus and heard someone screaming. It was Aaron. He was with this dude named Ben and two other guys. Ben and another person were throwing Aaron's hat around. Another guy was just sitting there. Hero walked over to them and gave Aaron his hat back. He walked to mi she walked to Mrs. Roth's house with the boy who was sitting there at the fight. His name was Danny Cardova. Hero was expecting to say goodbye, but Danny knew Mrs. Roth. In this chapter, Hero found out that Danny knows Mrs. Roth. Danny did yard work for her before. They talked, and Hero found out that Danny's dad was a police officer. Danny also pulled some weeds for Mrs. Roth. Hero didn't want Danny to be with them so she could talk with Mrs. Roth. When Hero got home, Beatrice asked, her, asked Hero questions. Hero just left the bus on a rainy day. It was so rainy, Miss Roth had to get her a towel when Hero got to her place. After drying off, Miss Roth and Hero had some muffins and tea. Miss Roth told Hero she didn't want to talk about the Murphy Diamond in front of Dan Danny. So Hero told Miss Roth all about the conversation of Shakespeare not writing his plays with her dad. After this, Miss Roth took something down from her shelf, and it was the Murphy Diamond necklace. Necklace. First thing to come to mind. Hero went to Mrs. Roth's house to talk about the necklace. Mrs. Roth talks necklace. How does she know all this? Hero thought about the diamond. Where is it? Hero went to school. Her homework assignment is to read the whole, whole book. The complete works of William Shakespeare. Is it possible that all of these are clues? Hero lays in bed. Beatrice goes to the girl's house. Hero draws. Hero's mother has pride in her house. Hero figures out that the initials on the necklace is A.B. and Boleyn. Her cover story is that she was at Mrs. Roth's and talked about Shakespeare and then got into Anne Boleyn. Her family leaves and she starts to search the house but has no luck. She's about to go and search in her front yard when Danny stops over. He figures out that she's looking for the diamond and suggests that they take his dad's file on the case. Hero gets her bike and they ride off. Hero and Danny were on their way to the police station. When they arrived, Danny's dad wasn't there yet. So they 
ask the secretary to go into his office. She said yes. So she let them in. They didn't search through any of the files yet because she was in the office next to them. Hero asked why he was suspended. He said for pushing a teacher. He explained why he did it. When the secretary got busy, they started searching. In this chapter, Hero and Danny tried looking for the file, but then Danny's dad caught them. He asked them what they were doing, but they covered it up. Hero said she was doing a project. Hero and Danny talked with Mr. Cordova. At the end of the chapter, he told them that Mrs. Roth was Mr. Murphy's ex-wife. Danny and Hero go back to Hero's house, astonished about what they found. When they got home, Beatrice and Hero's parents are there. Hero goes inside and sits on a chair upset. Hero asks her mom what she would do if a friend lied to her. Hero's mother says she would figure out why they would lie unless that person wasn't really a friend. Then it wouldn't really matter. Hero was at Mrs. Roth's house eating ice cream. Chocolate. They talked until Mrs. Roth accidentally said she was Mr. Murphy's ex-wife. Hero got furious and asked deep questions. Hero thought that Mr. Murphy and Mrs. Roth were behind the missing diamond. Hero went home, th then her friends showed up. They asked, why, you, why are you acting different? No response. No response. Hero walked into Mrs. Vandler's classroom the next morning. Hero was startled by the, from the girl's attention. They said, didn't I see you riding with Danny? She said, probably. Hero dodged her questions by doing her homework. Hero thought about the pendant. By the time that Hero boarded the bus on Friday, Hero thought, will this week ever end? Hero also thought about herself and Danny. Hero and Aaron walked off the bus together. Hero went over to Mrs. Roth's house and they sat and did crossword puzzles. Then Hero told her that the necklace belonged to the Queen of England. <gasps> then they got to the topic about Mrs. Roth and Arthur. Hero discovered that Mrs. Roth had a kid. Sadly, she ran away when she was in her late teens. <gasps> then Danny stops by. Danny came through the front gate, and as that happened, Hero felt miserable. Of course, Mrs. Roth greeted him with a warm welcome. He sat down and told Mrs. Roth that him and Hero tried to find the Murphy Diamond file at the police station. Hero said that they got caught, but Danny talked about how they got away with it. Mrs. Roth said that you shouldn't lie, though. Danny figured out that Mrs. Roth had a kid. They talked about what they would do if they found the diamond. Hero said that she'd get as far as way as far away as she could. Then Mrs. Roth guessed that she would that she was being teased again. Hero explained about the girls. Then the chapter ended with Danny saying that he would cover up the writing in the boys' bathroom. In this chapter, Hero asked her dad if there was any connection between Edward Devere and Anne Boleyn. Her dad said didn't her dad said didn't really think so. He then said the connection was with keep Queen Elizabeth the first. He then told her information about the relationship. Hero then went to Beatrice's room and talked to her. Tris asked Hero how it was at school and said being popular is hard. Hero walks into class late and Miss Vanderly, her teacher, tells Hero that Hero is wanted in the principal's office. Hero walks these was a ten walks there with a tense feeling in her body. Hero arrives and sits patiently until Miss Ribbener looks up. Miss Ribbener says that Hero is responsible for the spray paint in the boys' bathroom and could have alarmed her about it. Miss Ribbener asks if Hero would like to say anything and it turns out that Hero missed her chance from showing she's innocent because her parents are going to have to come in for a conference. Hero went to Mrs. Roth's house. Mrs. Roth's. Mrs. Roth showed Hero stuff about famous people, then got into deep stuff about Queen Elizabeth. Danny then came. Hero and Danny were sitting, pulling weeds. Hero and Danny were talking about Danny's mother. They all sat on the porch talking. Hero couldn't stop thinking about the diamond at school and at home. She looked at light fixtures whenever she had the chance. Hero didn't tell her parents that Danny was coming over after they would leave. 
When Billy showed up, Hero dragged him inside. She asked what took him so long, and he said that he hasn't ate yet. So he was finally, so he was really hungry. When they started looking, they looked in every single light in the house. When they checked Beatrice's room, her light cover broke. The diamond wasn't in it. When Danny had to leave, Danny looked out and said, You have one of those lights, too? When Hero said that she didn't know where the light switch was, they both got an idea. The diamond was in that cover, and it was. In this chapter, Hero and Danny just found the diamond. Danny said he would keep the diamond with them. Hero wasn't sure that it would be safe. Hero's parents then got home from the party. Hero told them that Danny came over and they hung out. Her parents seemed kind of suspicious. Hero then went to bed and couldn't wait to show the diamond to Mrs. Roth. Hero wakes up excitedly and throws on her clothes and heads to Mrs. Roth's house. As she heads there, she sees Danny and his friends. They call Hero Danny's girlfriend, but Hero ignores it until Danny says he'll be at Mrs. Roth later. Then Hero gets angry and walks away, but Danny catches up with her and tells her he sent the diamond to his mom. Then Mrs. Roth bursts out of her door and wonders if they have the diamond or not. Hero, Danny, Mrs. Roth. All were like, what is going on? They argued and came to an agreement. Mrs. Roth made the, them food and talked about the diamond. It was right over their noses. There is no summarizer for this one. Mrs. Roth and Danny are happier than ever. When Hero gets home, Beatrice asks, asks about the light. Hero ends up telling her sister about the diamond. She doesn't tell her dad, though. I wonder why. I wish that she did. The next week went by fast. Hero wanted to be back at Mrs. Roth's with Danny. Hero told Mrs. Roth about how she never would have found them if it weren't for the diamond. Danny told Mrs. Roth why Anna probably won't respond. Mrs. Roth told Danny that she sent Anna a letter. Mrs. Roth wanted to set up a party. The next day, Hero rushed out of school. Tori, the one with the dog named Hero, told Hero that Hero forgot her book, so Tori gave it to her. Tori asked Hero if she wanted if she would come over to her house. Hero said that she had other plans, but maybe next time. At the beginning of this chapter, Aaron was going to get a shot. Ben then scared Aaron, but in the end, he gave Aaron a piggyback ride. Hero then rushed. For the last time in this book to Mrs. Roth's house. At her house, Carol found out that Danny's mom had written back. She sent the diamond, a letter, and a picture. At the back of the picture, there was a poem. Hero, Danny, and Mrs. Roth decide to give the diamond to the Maxwell. At the end of the chapter, Hero starts to read for much ado about nothing.